Hi guys. Uh, yesterday we looked at the word omnipotent, which means all powerful. And today we're going to be looking at another omni word, uh, but it is the word omnipresent. Omnipresent. Uh, so what is what does that word mean? Well, as we discussed yesterday, the prefix omni it means all. Well, the word present means present. Uh, and so omnipresent means all present, right? Uh, or literally that God is everywhere all at the same time. Uh, he's everywhere all at once. Uh, this is another one of those things that we cannot fully or truly comprehend or wrap our minds around. Why? Because you and I are confined to one place. Uh, we can only be in one place at one time. Uh, not only does this mean that he is everywhere right now, right? So omnipresent, he's everywhere right now, but he is everywhere always. And so that's where your mind just goes, right? Uh, he is not only everywhere now, but he is everywhere always. God is everywhere throughout all of time and throughout all of space. Uh, God is everywhere. So uh, what does this mean for you and I? What does this mean for us? Well, God already knows what lies ahead. Why? Because he's already there. He, he is the God who sees. I, I'm reminded of in Genesis chapter 22 when Abraham is told to take Isaac up onto the top of uh, the mountain uh, in order to sacrifice his only son there. Uh, and uh, we remember that, that, that God provided himself a lamb and, and Isaac was spared and, and there was a lamb that was caught, a ram that was caught in a thicket by his horns and Abraham sacrificed that in its stead, right? But, but God is the God who sees. God saw all of that ahead of time. He knew all of that was going to transpire and all that was going to take place. Why? Because God was there. Um, and so God is already in tomorrow. God's already in next week. So he already knows what is going to occur. He already knows what is going to happen. Um, and so God has revealed some things to us about the future. Uh, and they are found in his written word, right? Uh, and so we read his word uh, because... He wants to tell us about some events and some things that are going to happen in the future. Um, right now in our Sunday school classes, we are going through, or the adult Sunday school, we're going through the book of Revelation. And, uh, and those are things that, that you know, are going to happen in the future. And, and there's some things even happening right now in the world that we live in uh, that are found in the book of Revelation that 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, uh, they never would have imagined, but yet it's occurring right now in the present time that we live in. Well, God has told us about all of these things. Um, and so we need to trust him. Why? Because he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. So listen, because he's omnipresent, we can hold on to the fact that God will never abandon us. He is with us. He is with you. He is with me. So what should we do? Trust him with the future because he already knows the way. Uh, listen, if you were going out into the woods into a place you've never been before, and you were going with someone who, who had been there uh, over and over and over again, um, are you going to lead the way or are they? Um, you're probably going to let them lead the way because they know where they're going. Um, and so can I tell you, God already knows the way. He's already there. He's been there before. Uh, and so trust in him. Uh, secondly, talk to him because he is always around. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Well, why? Well, because God is always around you. Uh, God, is, God is everywhere. Uh, and so he's always listening. Everywhere you go, uh, he's right there with you. So pray without ceasing, without stopping. Our gracious God, we bow before you. Father, help us to trust in you. Help us to know that you hold tomorrow, that you are already there. God, help us not to waver, help us not to doubt, help us not to question, but just to know that you are in control. You are omnipresent. Father, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name.